Hi guys, Jason Dixon here with Newberger and Company for your Training Tip Tuesday. This week's training tip is the role that email plays in prospecting. This is one of those polarizing things, I get it. You ask one person how they use email in prospecting and they'll tell you it's the greatest thing ever, it's their primary method. You ask somebody else and they'll say that nobody opens those things anyway so we just don't do it. Let's pretend for a second that it actually does work. It does play a role in prospecting. So let's hit a couple of the high points. Here's the problem that we run into with, the, with email and prospecting the wrong way. This works in, with voicemails too. Too much information. What we find a lot of times is we're trying to sell whatever our product or service is in the email, in which case we're throwing a lot of features and benefits out there. Too much information. And the problem that that creates is our prospects making a decision about us without us being there, without us being in the room, or at least being on the phone with them. Less is more in these cases. And frankly, we really need to be focusing in on how prospects are actually influenced to make decisions. Things like, what are they frustrated by? What are they afraid of? Or what are their fears? What are their desires? What are they trying to get? Focus on those things in the body of your email, in the message that you send. If you don't know what those things are, go to your best customer, go to your best client. Ask them, why'd you let me in when you first met with me? Or why'd you buy from me? What were the things that we solved for you? Chances are, they're gonna help you rebuild your message and send a much more um, uh, uh, pointed uh, and influential message to your prospects couple of last things to keep in mind once you have that message down. One, uh, write it like you talk. Uh, don't change uh, and, and try and use uh, you know, some kind of you know, cryptic English language. Literally write your email how you talk and then read it out loud to yourself. Keep in mind people orient themselves differently in the way they communicate. You may be more of an auditory listener, an auditory learner. You may need to read that email to yourself to make sure that you got it right. Also keep in mind, your prospect does not care about you. They don't wanna know how you are. They don't wanna know who you are. They wanna know if you can solve any problems for you. They wanna know, is this for me? Does it relate to an issue or challenge that I have? And is it worth my time to continue reading? Keep those things in mind when you're writing your next message. And I'm guessing that you'll find that email will play a little bit of a bigger role in your prospecting efforts. For more on this, reach out to me. Anybody else here at Newberger & Company, we'd be happy to help you with this. Thanks. Thank <music> you.